today with Nicole Hall. She has a business around the Lexington area that specializes in providing decor and uh, uh, lots of special items, clothing. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to, because she can articulate, <laughs> articulate it better than I can, I'm going to allow her to explain a little bit about her business and uh, the concept of it, uh, essentially how she you know, why did she start it and stuff like that. And Nicole, I want to thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So if you'll share with everybody a little bit about your business and why you started it. Sure. Um, well, I started it about a year ago. I'm coming up on the year anniversary now. And the reason why I started it is because I really feel like I have a creative eye. I really feel like God blessed me with creativity. Yeah. And for a long time, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with that creativity. And I dabbled with a few different things. And I started making gifts for friends and family. Okay. And they are really the motivators behind me turning it into a business. Yeah. Um, I really feel like uh, people are wanting the things that I have to offer. Sure. Um, so, and part of what I do with the funds that I make is I actually use them for mission type related activities. Mm -hmm. um, so, so explain that, that a little bit. You, okay. you, you are. Um, you're not the typical business owner who started a business just to make money. No. You started a business because you're motivated by your faith. Absolutely. So explain that a little bit. Um, so I really feel like, like I said, God blessed me with this ability, and yeah. um, I decided to use it for His will and for His purpose. Awesome. So if we hear about people in the community, um, people within the church, um, people in general, when we when we hear about things that are going on, they're struggling, they're having a hard time making ends meet, sure. um, they, they can't pay bills, things like that. We use the funds that we have accumulated in through this business yeah. to help them get through. Okay. Um, and then sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes you hear about people that are just having a rough go at it, mm -hmm. and they need a little pick-me-up. So then somebody will say, hey, I think it'll be a really great idea if um, so-and-so gets a gift. So then yeah. I'll just send random things to people that really um, it can be anonymous, or it can be because so you just wanted to let somebody know that you were thinking about them and caring about them. Yeah. Um, so then we just... Everybody likes to get something, so we <laughs> send it out to them, and hopefully it makes a difference in their day. Okay. Um, so, like I said, it can be th it can be people in the community or things like that. Um, yeah. Back in October, I actually went on a mission trip to South Africa. Okay. Used part of the money that um, I had from the business to help pay for that trip to share God's word and God's message and God's love with people. Awesome. Um, so it's things like that. It's not just. A money making yeah. business. Well, um, if you don't mind, share with everybody a little bit of the history of your business. Like, what did, did you just start off with one product and then it just kind of grew, or, or no. did you just take everything on at one time? Funny. <laughs> Funny. Um, I kind of took on a whole lot of things mm -hmm. at one time. The original idea behind what I was doing is I wanted to make hand, handmade gifts. Yeah. Crafts, um, kind of. Crafts, yes. Um, because so many people see so many things that they like, yeah. but they don't have the skills or ability to be able to do it themselves. Certainly. Um, so I started with that idea, that me that mentality, that mindset. And my sister um, is actually the one that motivated me to start with the apparel. Because okay. she had some ideas in her mind and things yeah. that she wanted. And I guess because of the creativity side that I have. So she she wanted, she was she, motivated, she wanted yes. some stuff. <laughs> she wanted me to make her some stuff. Okay. And okay. and when that happened, other people heard that I was making clothes. Yeah. And that trickled on to their friends That's and their right. family. So it just spread. And now, um, actually, the biggest primary line that I have is the women's apparel. Okay. So, so it definitely migrated away from what I originally had planned into something different. But, but it's great because that's actually what people want. Yeah. yeah. Everybody needs clothes. Everybody likes to wear cute clothes. So yeah. that's, that's what it's turned into. Okay. And now still do the personalized gifts on lots of monogram things. Okay. Um, home decor. Yeah. And, and what's good about it is if you see something on the website or if you see something on Pinterest that you want. And I'll, put, I'll provide make, a link to the website. So. That'd be perfect. Um, I can make a lot of that stuff. But if you have a certain color that you want or a certain style that you like, and because chartreuse. everything's... Yeah, it's chartreuse. <laughs> <laughs> because everything is personal, we yeah. can really incorporate any style, any decor, That's any, awesome. anything that you want okay. into making it truly yours. Well, and I can uh, I can attest to the fact that she does wonderful work. As a matter of fact, she's already provided a number of my clients in, in real estate who've purchased homes. Uh, she has provided them with door hangers that are just phenomenal. As a matter of fact, you'll see behind us a lot of her products because uh, we're using a green screen to do this. You'll see products coming up, and some of those will be the actual products you need for me, which is really good for my clients. Um, and I really appreciate it. It's a great job. So.
Um, is there anything that you think makes your business unique and sets it apart? I mean, other than the mission this thing, I think that in itself is very unique. I definitely think that in itself yeah. is, is the, the standalone, the set apart. Um, and the fact that People can um, contact me to make personalized items and, yes. and it truly matches any style and any before. Not a lot of businesses offer that capability. Yes, lots true. of businesses do monograms, mm -hmm. uh, lots of businesses do custom tees and things, but not a lot give you the opportunity to actual, actually make personalized and unique home decor. That's so I think important. that sets it apart. Okay. Well, that's very, very interesting. Nicole, I want to thank you so much for coming out today and sharing with everybody about your business. Really appreciate it. Wish you all the luck. I know you're going to do well. And folks, keep it in mind, if you're looking to not just get something like home decor or a personalized gift, a gift bag or clothing or something of that nature, but you're also looking to support a good cause, Meadow Lane Designs is the place to spend your money because you're getting both. You're getting something that's personalized, that's a great gift, and you're supporting a wonderful cause, missions, and just helping people in general. So that's great. Once again, Paul, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Yes,